గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ కోవిడ్ నైన్టీన్ హ్యాడ్ స్ప్రెడ్ త్రూ అవుట్ ద వరల్డ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ వాస్ వ్యూయింగ్ దోస్ అరౌండ్ దమ్ అస్ ఎ పొటెన్షియల్ క్యారియర్ అండ్ దేర్ ఫోర్ ఎ పొటెన్షియల్ థ్రెట్ వీ వేర్ లివింగ్ ఇన్ ఎ మోమెంట్ ఇన్ హిస్టరీ వేర్ వీ వేర్ ఆల్ వ్యూయింగ్ ఆస్ ఎ గ్రేట్ డేంజర్ టు వన్ అనదర్ sanitary practices and social distancing are as old as the bible we see in our first reading today biblical prescriptions set out to prevent an infectious disease from spreading in the community to avoid contact and contamination the leper is to be quarantined and kept apart from the community but we see something entirely different in our gospel today jesus bridges the gap and closes the distance he did not just speak to the leper but he did the most outrageous thing he stretched out his hand and touched him but this story is not just about infectious disease and the public health precautions we must observe it is a story about humanity sin and salvation an infectious disease is the most apt analogy for sin consider this we are that leper covered not with the sores of that horrible disease but covered in the shame of our sins our sins have rendered us untouchable our sins have kept us separated from god the community and others sin is equally infectious it is interesting how sin begets sin unless one spiritual immunity is high many of us could easily surrender to the pandemic of sin that is so prevalent in our culture and society but contemplating the story of how jesus approached and healed the leper has made us more grateful for what he has done for us regardless of how clear our past or present is the lesson from the leper tells us that our lord still wants to reach out and touch us he willingly stepped into the pandemic of our sin and it was a dangerous thing to do it let him to the cross but he loves us that much to risk the terminal effects of sin for he knew that the only way he would find a cure for sin is to consume it and transform it within his body the corona virus was a small problem in comparison to the problem of sin governments had taken such drastic measures to quell the spread of covid-19 but seem unconcerned with the pandemic of sin we have had this corona virus pandemic for more than 3 years and sometimes it feels like eternity but we have had sin afflict us since the beginning of human history covid-19 may take the lives of some and threaten the livelihood of others but sin can deprive us of something far more important the eternal life yes we have martyred sin many have surrendered to it but we live in hope and not in defeat because we have already found the cure it is 
Jesus Christ, our Lord. At times, we may feel ashamed of our condition to approach the Lord or go to a priest for confession for fear that we would be harshly judged. For example, the leper teaches us how when one approaches the Lord in humility and faith, not as someone entitled, but as someone recognizing that grace is always a gift given to the undeserving, telling to him, if you want to, you can cure me. No disease is a cause of impurity. Disease certainly involves the whole person, but in no way does it impair his or her relationship with God. On the contrary, a sick person can be even more united with God. Instead, sin is what makes us unclean, selfishness, corruption, materialism, brokenness, temptation, impurity, anger, and hatred. These are diseases of the heart from which we need to be purified by turning to Jesus like the leper. And each time we approach the sacrament of reconciliation with a contrite heart, the Lord also repeats to us, I will be clean. How much joy there in this. In this way, the leprosy of sin is overcome. We return to joyfully experience our filial relationship with God and we are fully readmitted into the community. The healing of the leper tells us today that if we want to be true disciples of Jesus, we are called to become instruments of his merciful love. The words of St. Paul in our second reading, to be imitators of Christ. In the face of poor or sick person, we must not be afraid to look him in the eye and to draw near with tenderness and compassion. How do you help others? From a distance or with tenderness and closeness. If evil is contagious, so is goodness. Therefore, there needs to be ever more abundant goodness in us. Let us be infected by goodness and let us spread goodness. Amen.